Is the Su-57 fighter really invisible? Russian aerospace forces began using the latest Su-57 fighters in the Lugansk region. In this regard, Western military experts noted that this vehicle is clearly superior to the Ukrainian MiG-29 and Su-27, primarily in terms of stealth. However, there is one nuance that can destroy the myth about the stealth capabilities of the Russian Su-57. Russian gunsmiths classify the Su-57 as a fifth-generation multi-role stealth fighter, which is designed to destroy all types of air targets, destroy enemy ground and surface targets, monitor airspace at large distances from the base, etc. Sometimes, in order to give way to their development, the Russians call the Su-57 a promising aviation complex for frontline aviation. Of course, compared to the earlier Su-27 and the already obsolete MiG-29, the Su-57 fighters have more serious characteristics and will therefore pose a threat to the Ukrainian Air Force, even if the Ukrainian aircraft are equipped with a IM-120M ROM air-to-air missiles. This is due to the missile's limited range, which cannot reach the Su-57 if it operates beyond visual range. However, there is a detail that Western experts have pointed out. The fact is that Ukrainian forces are cooperating with NATO reconnaissance and early warning aircraft. Therefore, if Su-57s are detected, they will become vulnerable to attacks by Ukrainian forces. And here we should mention the R-77 air-to-air missile designed by the IKB Vimple, which is part of the arsenal of the latest Russian fighters. Military researcher and fellow at the Royal United Services Institute, our USI Justin Bronk, drew attention to the problem associated with this missile, which creates difficulties for the Su-57. He notes that the Su-57's potential is limited by the fact that the aircraft is currently equipped with an older version of the R-77 missile, namely the MK-1 version. It is the external placement of this missile that violates the stealth of the Russian vehicle, and it is impossible to install it on the aircraft any other way due to the design feature of the R-77, namely in the tail itself. On the one hand, the aerodynamic tail of the missile does not allow it to be placed in the internal weapon bays of the Su-57, on the other hand, when placing the missile externally, the stealth of the aircraft is compromised, Bronx said. Avoiding detection by a large AESA radar is extremely challenging, he said. And although the Su-57 is indeed much more difficult to detect than previous Sukhoi aircraft, the characteristics of the aircraft do not justify the exorbitant amount of money spent on it. More about the problems of the Su-57 fighter. In the thermal spectrum, Su-57 is not modified, so it is clearly visible even from 70 kilometers away. The Su-57 is equipped with the usual to-round engines from the Su-30SM and Su-35 fighters. According to stealth technology, engines must have a flat exhaust, be covered and have a heat flow dilution system to reduce radar detection. However, all this is missing. And the weapon system has not even been finalized. In the fall of 2023, a meeting was held in Moscow on the capabilities of the Su-57. The Russians admitted that the fighter's central computer, which is responsible for the avionics and control system, is not working well. Also, thanks to its help, weapons are aimed and targets are detected. Given such problems, the Russians noted the unreliability of the vessel.